This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another episode of The Sinking City. Man, what a way to start a video having this guy's ugly mug stare at you. In the last episode, we found out who killed Albert and the whole mess. Apparently, some psychic energy occurred, affected some people. And if our information is to be uh, true, then uh, Lewis didn't do it on purpose to spy his hate for him. Is he telling the truth? Oh. Well, I got three bullets from, or two bullets from that one dude, but I'm sparing them for you. But who knows the truth, unfortunately, whether it be the psychic energy or his true hate, and he's just a really good liar. It's hard to say, but he did pay us some money, so we don't really owe Throgmorton any really loyalty, as far as I'm aware of. So we're just going to, I think I have it set to where we're, we believe he's the, yeah, was under mental influence. So we're just going to hide, hide the results and just say Albert got killed in a fit of rage or something. I don't know how we're going to explain it, but... Um, that's how we're gonna end this thing. I assume either way really doesn't change the over, out, overall outcome other than like some minor things like what happens to Lewis and all that other stuff. But anyway, let's give the bad news. I've seen some strange creatures around. Mr. Throgmorton, uh, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures, and they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can't, keep your weapons handy. Always have a gun on handy. If they can bleed, they can die. I found the murderer, sir. It's not pretty. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? Uh, we could either go ahead and, despite our our um, our resolve, we could still lie to him and tell him the truth, or we could uh, tell him it was one of the men who died or whatever uh, at the thing. But uh, eh, uh, I won't play a dick this time, or I won't be like betraying everyone for everyone. So, murder is dead, sir. I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things prowling the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouther fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and this scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. Just ask his friends. Alas. This was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure, but at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Okay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I don't know, a lot of things. Sunshine, beach, lollipops, and rainbows every day. I... I, I guess it doesn't really matter. So. Cases of insanity, that sounds like we're not crazy. I'm looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness. All linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Why a geolo geological expedition? That sounds like a... I was going to say some rhyme or lyric, but I forgot it. <laughs> A geological expedition. I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness of the same source. As above, so below. 
So I sent men to find out. You sent men. Nothing but men. All the time it's men. Well, you know. Any link between visions and hysteria? Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many oak monsters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant, drowned streets, and a voice calling from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. Interesting. You think the flood is unnatural? Oh well, yeah. Well, you know, you could say global warming, but that's about a hundred years too early, so. You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied scientific explanation. Scientific explanation. I think anything could, science can define anything eventually, over time, at some point. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? Alone at the port? Well, he just wanted to run into a seaman, that's all. I mean, seaman! Or seaman! Ugh. <laughs> the murder of the expedition are leaked. You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. Uh, I am. Let's talk more about the expedition. But not now. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert. When you finished, come see me at the Throckmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Alright. Professor Doe. Man, it must have been... Hopefully he's not a big fella or a doughy fellow, as they say. Let's talk payment. Give me the coin. Give me the bullets. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Yeah, I assume at some point we'll probably eventually... Oh my god. That's probably for just completing the, the, the case or whatever. No matter which one you choose. Uh, yeah, I bet at some point we'll be able to uh, uh, actually make bullets ourselves. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? See, this is why I didn't tell you that your son's murder is live. He's like, wait, what? And I just run off. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep I've your hands right and sealed. All right, let's go to the... I guess we're off to the next uh, section of the of the game now that that's going to be unlocked. How do you access that boat? Huh. Well, anyway. You now Lewis is off. Well, I don't know if I'd say Scott Free is the term I would use, but uh, we'll let him get away with it. If hopefully he didn't actually mean to do it. But I don't know. I guess the rest of the game will tell us otherwise. But, oh, there they are. They finally... Left, and we can now enter upon the Oakhurst or whatever it's called officially.
Huh. Well, that was an interesting. Uh, another vision, double vision, or a visions of a Cthulhu uh, of a eldritch horror. It's hard to say. Lots to see. Robert Thogmore funded. It. Oh, I think I. Were. Did I ever read this before? Final expedition discovered the origin of the mass hysteria gripping. Yeah, I think I remember. Read this before. Even the ugliest monsters have a vulnerable spot. Yeah, the brain! Or the eye, or any orifice that opens up. Uh, solving a case doesn't guarantee a huge reward. That makes sense. Uh, Oakmont, Oakmont is full of illusions, most of them including the illusion of safety can be dispelled. Magic a dispel? No. Um, but yeah, it seems like uh, obviously the major case is going to be doing with this. A mass hysteria, and then I, I guess over the course, maybe we'll run into characters that want us to do like small cases as well, and we can solve them if we choose to do it or choose not to, depending on how much time we want to put into it. I guess it depends on how the, long the game is. I assume the game is like in that rough like ten-hour uh, range. That's usually how long these games. Uh, maybe ten plus more, maybe ten to twelve hours is usually how long these games usually last. If you know what you're doing, but if you mess around for a bit, it could be up to 20. I guess we'll see how long it takes. Usually, I'm pretty, pretty close to my estimate on how long these games actually take to uh, finish. Um, so far, the game's interesting, and I found the previous call, uh, the previous Call of Cthulhu game I played a little bit more um, like atmospheric, even though that one obviously didn't really have wasn't really it wasn't an action basically this is more actiony so maybe this will hit a hit a spot for those who maybe want a bit more pulp cthulhu in their uh, in their in their games or whatever yeah there's actually a tabletop game called pulp cthulhu we basically play cthulhu call of cthulhu but more like a episode of indiana jones or journey to the center of the earth or you know stuff like that where it's like there's still eldritch horrors but it's a uh, oh i didn't even notice i could press the button <laughs> let's continue Oh, well, sorry about rambling off for so long, I just didn't notice that. Alright, how did we end up here anyway? I guess we passed out or something. My Diary, Part 1. I don't know what exactly sank the USS Cyclops. I only remember the screams and the metal creaking, water filling the deck, and my headache. The worst I've ever had. I found myself among the floating seaweed, drowning. A nearby piece of a boat helped me survive and reach the shore of a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half-mad, and babbling about the ancient ruins of their denizens. The official said none of what I thought I'd seen was real, but my memories are true. My strange powers gained after the ordeal prove it. I found something horrible on that island, something old, and dark, and slithering. It still haunts me. What did he find on that island? Oh, and that's the those are those uh, seamen or whatever. Maybe he was in the maybe he was in the war or something like that, and that was his company. Or whatever. Hmm. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis brothers. So, okay, so they were military and that was the Cyclops. Is that so something happened during his... Uh... Wait, he said Semper Five. Isn't that the Marine? But those look like just standard Navy. I mean, whatever. Hmm, what's this? Ooh, okay. It's a medallion of some sort. Uh, in, in USN Charles Reed oh that's his that's his dog tag all that we see or see is just a dream within a dream within a dream dreamception do, 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 do. never again they say wait what did it say again 94 oh is that 1894 oh I thought this was like the 20s wow okay this is older than I thought huh Actually, with the Cyclops, I guess that makes sense, because they, they had boats like that type around, so. Oh, what's this? Laudanum. Isn't that for, like, sleep uh, issues or something like that? Soothes all ailments, or at least that's what it was supposed to. Tincture of opium. Oh, opium, yep, that's about right for old old-fashioned tonics. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. Ah, cocaine. Or, oh, well, cocaine as well. Cocaine, opium, they put it in everything. Oh, we can change our wardrobe. That's neat. Oh, and we can, if we progress the story, we can unlock more uh, outfits. Okay, so what do we got currently? We've got newcomer, uh, wardrobe, or unburdened newcomer. Oh, we just, it just takes off the backpack, so if you want to be more, uh, more like a normal adventure. Wind coat, kind of like that one. 
and the vacationist. <laughs> Let's see what else we can unlock. Uh, gangster, that's story based. King's robes. I, su I assume that's supposed to be the yellow king. That's what we're supposed to look like. Daywear. Oh, that one's kind of neat. A locked in investigator pack. There must be some DLC or something like that. Uh, well, at least that's what's investigator pack. I assume that. I haven't actually checked the, the online stuff for this. I don't know if there's any extra content. Wardrobe. Find out what happened to the robbed graves. And So it's a case thing. That one's kind of cool. Wardrobe. Find the missing ship logs in a case. Looks like a, looks like a fisherman from like a... What was that one horror movie that did do with the, like... Was that the... I know what you did last summer, dude, or something like that? Anyway. Uh, wardrobe... Oh, the police officer. Nice. Uh, another case one. Oh, that one's the Plague Mask Doctor. Oh, that one's... That was neat. I always thought the Plague Mask were cool looking. A case for that one. Oh, we got the Sherlock Holmes. Another case for that. <laughs> okay. The Mystery Tomes. Oh, you had to get DLC, so we'll never see that one. That one's an interesting outfit. It's like he's wearing a like a, a mock of skin or something like that, or pieces of flesh together, and he's wearing like a squid hat or something like that. Lovely. Uh, open house case. The Vishank Vishi Vishivanka is that Indian or something like that nature. But anyway, let's uh, swap to the wind coat. I kind of like that one. Neat. <clears throat> I mean, I think the backpack looks cool, but we'll uh, we'll stick with this for now. Purple letter. Mr. Reed, you are the rare example of a man who treated one of my kind humanely. Oh, sorry. You are the rare example of a man who treated one of my kind humanely, and I feel I have to repay that debt to you. Treat this as a friendly piece of advice. Run, save your life, and leave this drunk city to the depths. Don't dig into its secrets, for they are not worth it. There's nothing good left here. I believe you can find a way to escape. Please see my words. Liz Flynn. Hmm. Well, maybe he didn't do it then, if that's... Well, he obviously he wouldn't write a letter saying I did a ha 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 ha, so, you know. Note from a J. Oh, J. Vanderberg. Mr. Reed, it seems that you overexerted yourself for conducting the investigation of Mr. Throgmorton. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you to the Devil's Reef while you were unconscious. Please take more care of yourself in the future. I won't be there for you every time. You're honest. Oh, oh right, I don't have to actually click a door to open it. I can just walk through if there's a door. Actually, is there any, anything in my room? Although I probably only need to turn this on when it comes to, like, story or, or the game. It's pretty obvious I need to touch upon it. Alright. Cool. Let's, oops, I, I gotta remember I have to hold down the button. Button, button, who's got the button? I wonder what point of the game where we're actually... Maybe we have to go to, like... Maybe we don't build our own bullets, but maybe we go to, like, a... a, like a store or something like that if we give someone a certain number of items they'll make bullets for us or something like that i don't know or maybe we find a bu bullet uh, uh weapon making kit or something like that the nightmares i pointed out the windows and locked the door they're just men the old king's gang they can't get here now now there's only me me and these nightmares a little longer and i'll figure them out guess he did or at least he's not here right now dave's not here man there, right, what do we got? Uh, pistol round. Ooh, pistol round. Shell casing and gunpowder. I guess we'll figure out about the whole door one door bunch. One bunch. Oh, he said that. <laughs> I keep forgetting that there's a three second delay, so I have to be careful about that. Charlie Reed, private detective. Makes this place feel more like home. I miss Boston already. But, well, most people want to miss Boston. No. I've been to Boston. I, I went to the nicer part of Boston. It wasn't bad, but I, I didn't go into the seedier parts, so I don't know. I'm surprised. I wonder how long it took them to make that for me. Anyway. Keep it down. Mr. Archer, I've seen you dragging things into your room. Mind the floors. I'll make you pay for any scratches you leave. Your landlord. And that's not... I don't... I'm Mr. Reed, and I'm Mr. Archer, so I don't have to worry about that. I guess I'm supposed to go downstairs. But I might as well take a quick look around well before we before we do that just run to people's doors just you just hear bangs like <laughs> because the main character what keeps running into doors thinking that's the only way he's gonna open them gunpowder alcohol I stole <laughs> stole your crap dude whoever this is you make coincidences 
So the lighthouse is out. Several ships have gone lost at sea, and some are now decorating the city beaches. That's one thing. But now there's an enterprise they fell at the city port hiring savages to no salvagers to recover ships. He's earning a tiny profit for selling them. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look into it. Now, if only the city wasn't so impossible to navigate. If I could do the questions voice or a variation of his voice, I would. Uh, oh, who voices him in uh, Justice League Unlimited? Oh, I can't remember his name now. But anyway, he was he was definitely one of my favorites out of the out of the Unlimited series. I mean, there was a lot of good characters in that I thought, but I thought the question was really good. And of course, you got your Batman and Flash and all them. But you know, for the side characters, the ones who didn't get all the, who only had like a couple of episodes about them or dedicated to them or whatever. Huh? Can we take a picture of that? Or, whoops. <laughs> no. I guess not. Okay, that is that thing is not important. I think it would be, but. Oh, that made this room important. It'll probably be... I bet this room's probably part of a mystery or something like that. Because otherwise, why would they let us just walk in there and there'd be nothing in there? Nothing to, like, explore or whatever. Oh, yeah. I don't, really, in here. I don't know why I did that again. Alright, let's go downstairs. Maybe talk to the landlord and see where to begin our quest to find out about these uh, hysterics and all this other stuff. Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you, though, mister... You want to stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Hey, I was just getting—I was just getting all I need for my me and my lady friend. Oh wait, there's no. Hey, I haven't run into any of the ladies here, but I or actually there was that one fortune teller lady. She's pretty cute, but I hate to see what some of the other ladies look like in this place. God, every one of you is a freak. Who are you? Sorry, but who are you again? You bang your head or something? I'm Victor Olmstead. I own the place. This place, the Devil's Reef Hotel. God, you guys are uh, the stuff made of nightmares. Noise? What What noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? Hey, don't, don't, don't kink shame me, dude. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll I'll do my best. Yeah, well, next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Aren't we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raving mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting the kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you, no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. You know, people are generally whoa. What the fuck? Uh, generally, people are uh, humanity. Humans are generally curious. So why would you say that's you know anyone? Anyway. All right, let's look around and see what we can see. Note about the hobo signs. Darren, I think, is finally starting to figure this out. Locals use signs to mark special places that you already know. Kind of like the secret signs hobos use all over the country. What I learned is that the tradition dates back to the times well before the flood. I've been able to find out the meaning of some of them. Uh, you've seen the crooked H-shaped signs on the doors around town? That means that the house is inhabited. The cross grid signs mark hidden caches of useful items. Uh, the V-shaped sign is for barricade, dangerous places. Uh, good catch there, they say. Uh, still haven't figured out the spiral-shaped sign, though. Uh, you have to f investigate for yourself. If you see a sign with a cross and three Ks, reach for a gun. Okay. Interesting. So, yeah, when we saw our site, we saw those specific descriptions, so keep that in mind. All right. Anything else in here? Anything? Anything else in here? Walter. K, help you if I hear you peddling your cheap, affordable living again. I could live with you renting out beast-ridden flop houses, but you're cutting into my profits. Don't make that mistake. I know you're on the fish market. I have dangerous people living around here that I can send after you. Even were Vic Vignani. No. <laughs> no, he already, he's already dealt with a lot of crap. I shouldn't even, shouldn't even make fun. Um... Uh, 
Yeah, you can look it up if you really care to. Uh, okay, so... Oh, there's another note. My dear nephew. My dear Victor, how is Oakmark pleading you? Should you require any support, the Blackwoods would be happy to help. I have arranged for that. Regarding your question, I don't know where Robert went, sadly. Uh, only that he did not stay in Innsmouth. Uh, perhaps there is a hope we can didn't perish in that cursed raid. Uh, take good care of the hotel, please. Uh, plenty of our relatives are interested in the property, but you're still my favorite nephew. I know the Devil's Reef is in good hands. Kind regards, Aunt Porsche, Portia. And I gotta keep that voice? I think that's funny. Anywho. <laughs> Alright, anything else? Let's do a quick, quick eye. No, or at least nothing, nothing too obvious. Uh, power supply. Henry George. Uh, George the Great Future King. Or whatever. Alright, what do we got there? Shell casings, more gunpowder. And it doesn't look like anything in here. Okay. You have anything else? I'm watching you, newcomer. I'm watching you for your eyes to eventually bulge out of your head. My god. Do we have any, uh, let's see. Let's look at the... Let's get the case book. Uh, key to the expedition headquarters. Okay, so it's northern cover side. And then we got the lost expedition. Oh, we've already... That must be new, because I think, I think each chapter gives us a new line of dialogue to, to think about. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Oh, we got a new, uh, whoops. Casebook. Uh, okay, for some, uh, for some reason I have to use the left uh, dialogue to go to the main case. I can't just, like, push down or on the directional pad or whatever, but okay. Alright, letters from Oak, uh, Oakmont. The hotel owner allowed me to look through the weird notes he found in the rooms of disappeared newcomers. Amongst them, I found several pages from the diary of a man describing his life in Oakmont. He suffered from visions and marked the places where they happened. Was he trying to avoid them? Uh, <clears throat> forlorn woman. The city no, uh, this city no longer how bad, uh, badly the flood damaged it has an unnatural appeal. I can't stop myself from uh, walking, even if it means struck by further visions. I went to the eastern part of the Salvation Harbor, near the crossing of Fitzoak. Callahan Street and Old Church Road it came. The feeling of loneliness and fear was immense. I was a woman locked in a room, affected and slowly rotting. My body turned into something. It, it itched badly in my face. I had to hold the skin with both hands to prevent from growing until I suffocated. I ended up sitting on the road, crying until Innsmouther ins kicked me and ordered me away. Okay, where is uh, she? I uh, went to the eastern part of the Salvation Harbor. Near the crossing of Fitzo, Callahan Street, and Old Church Road. Okay, so... Uh, let me see. Salvation Harbor, Eastern Side, Old Ch Churchill, or Old Church Road, and Cal so it's about here? So... Forlorn Woman is there. Okay. Where are we? Actually, where are we on the map? Oh, we're actually not too far away if I just want to go straight up check that out. Um, <coughs> let's see. I don't know how we unlock skills. Probably just do it over the course of the... Knowledge point one. Experience it. Hmm. Looks like uh, quite a bit of stuff you can unlock and whatever. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, okay, we've got that. Were those all the... Yeah, those are all the things we grabbed earlier. There's those. Okay. <coughs> I'll read, uh... Oh, I have almost... Time's almost up. We'll do one more, and then I'll call it an episode. Man, I didn't make as much progress as I thought I would. Huh. Anyway. The visions are testing me, playing with my mind. My old forgotten fi er, <coughs> Visions are testing me, playing with my mind. My old forgotten fears come to life. When I was small, I was afraid to stay alone. I thought my parents would leave and never come back. Today I went to the eastern streets of Coverside, and the visions came on the corner of St. Elmo Lane and Kingsport Street. I left as I was al I felt I was alone, forgotten in a locked room, hungry and frightened. I was so scared to stay inside, but everything was much worse behind the door. Something scratched in the corridor. And there was terrifying screams from the outside. I could not run, could not hide. I just waited for Mom to return. So it's <laughs> doing old voices for like young children. Uh, okay, so East Street, uh, so it's a cover side, 
at the corner of Elba Lane and King Sport Street. Um, cover side. So we got cover side. Whoops. Cover side. And oh, I think I'll. I think because I accidentally clicked it incorrectly to place a map. Cover Street. And then it was Old Church. Crap. Kingsport and Elmo Lane. Kingsport and Elmo Lane. Kingsport. I don't see an Elmo. It said St. Elmo's Lane, right? Kings oh, here it is. Okay, I just... Oh, it just said... Well, no, wait. Okay, so it should be... Like, roughly around, about there. Okay. All right. Well, we finally entered into the, the town, Oak, Oakmont, officially. But it looks like uh, not only do we have the visions and the insanity, but we also have some smaller cases if our, if our true uh, interest for uh, being a detective will uh, pique our interest or not. But find out what we do next time on the next episode of The Sinking City. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.